Hello boys and girls, our Impact Kids. Welcome back to our week four of our Y series. So to kick it off, I thought we would play a little game. George has to guess which object I have by asking yes or no questions. Are you ready to play, George? Yeah. All right. Ask away. Is it purple? Yes. Um, is it square? Kind of, yes. Is it a rectangle? Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, is there something inside? There is something inside this rectangle. Is it white? The thing inside. Yes. It is. Um, is it a Kleenex box? It is! <laughs> you got it right. George, I think we should ask the kids some questions about things that they have or haven't done before. Okay. So, if you guys have done it, we want you to put a thumbs up. If you haven't done it, put a thumb down. Okay, do you wanna ask the first question? Sure. Okay. Have you ever gone to an amusement park? Okay, have you ever bought something with money that you've saved up? Ridden a bicycle or a scooter? Have you ever been to the zoo? <laughs> Have you ever had a pet? What about a sleepover? Have you ever had a sleepover at someone's house? Have you ever performed in front of a large audience? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about played in a sports team? Have you ever watched two movies in a row? Okay, here's our last one. Have you ever taken public transportation anywhere? Good job, boys and girls. All right, boys and girls, I have a serious question to ask you. What's one question that you maybe have been wanting to ask but have been too embarrassed or scared to ask? Every day we have questions, but if we have a question, do we know who we can ask? That's right, we can ask God. Our big idea today is we can ask God questions. We can ask God questions. We can ask God questions. Well, hello there, you little chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. And I'm Cassie. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome. Welcome to Grow TV. Introducing your host, Carl. And your co host, Cassie. Where we learn, where we grow, and we talk about Jesus. Once again, welcome. So Carl, how are you doing today? Not doing too bad. I have a lot on my mind today. Really? What do you mean? Hmm. I don't know if you know this about me, Cassie, but I am an intellectual. Intel intellectual. An intellectual? Really? I am a person of vast intelligence. My brain is so big, it's puzzled. Multiple doctors. Hundreds, actually. Hundreds. I'm sure it has. So I was sitting at home with my enormous brain, and I wrote down some questions I think we should discuss and ponder over. Converse, if you will. Do you really feel like this is the best use of our time? Too late. The copyright-free classical music is already playing in the background. How much deeper would the ocean be if sponges didn't live in there? Why doesn't glue stick to the inside of a bottle? 
Why do we drive on parkways? And park on driveways. If a cow laughed, would milk come out of its nose? Why do skydivers wear helmets? Why does your nose run and your feet smell? Why don't your lips touch when you say the word touch, but they touch when you say the word separate? Wow, that was... Remarkable, life-changing, thought-provoking. I was going to say interesting, but sure. I get it, Cassie. You're jealous of my ginormous brain and the questions it has created. I don't know if that's true. Besides, those were good questions, but kind of silly. Silly? Yeah, did you have any more? Well, sure, but mm, I don't know about them. Can I look? Uh, sure, I guess. What's my purpose? What does it mean to live a good life? How can I learn to forgive? Wow, Carl, these are really good questions. You think? Of course, I think these are questions you should be asking God. Wait, I can ask God questions? Of course, have you never done that? I don't think I have. Well, let me tell you this. God would love to hear you ask those questions. Really? Yeah, and you never know. They might be answered in really cool ways, like Nehemiah. Ne what? Nehemiah, from the Old Testament. Oh, Nehemiah. I remember that story, but for the people watching who don't, how do you say, remember the story, how about you give like a brief recap for them? Not for me, because I know it. Okay, Carl. Well, a long time ago, there was a king, and the cupbearer of the king was named Nehemiah. And the walls of Nehemiah's hometown, Jerusalem, were broken down. They were in shambles. What? That's awful. I mean, I knew that already. It really was. Now, Nehemiah cared about his hometown so much that he prayed to God that he could return and help build the wall back. Now, that's a big question. Not only did he have to be the cupbearer to the king, but building a wall would be like a ton of work. It would, but it meant a lot to Nehemiah, so he knew that he had to ask God about it. Once Nehemiah was around the king, the king knew something was wrong and knew that Nehemiah wanted to ask him something. So the king asked Nehemiah what was on his mind. Did he tell the king about his desires to go back to Jerusalem? He did, but first he prayed to God about it. It was important to him that he asked God first, and then he asked the king. Wow! That's pretty cool. It was. It was even cooler that the king said yes. He was going to let Nehemiah go back and help build the wall. No way. That's great. Well, because he just asked the question. Yep, but it only worked out because Nehemiah asked God the question first. So God was actually with Nehemiah when he asked the king. Well, I guess that answers one of my questions. Which one was that? Well, I've been wondering how I'm going to get answers to all my questions. And I never thought about asking God, but I will now. That's great to hear, Carl. I'm glad you know now that we can ask God our questions. Well, hot dog! That's our big idea! Today's big idea is we can ask God our questions. That's right. And on the count of three, let's all say it together. One. Two. Three. We, we can, can ask God, God our questions. questions! We can! God will answer. In one way or another. <laughs> right? Yes. So what are you going to do with that big list of questions, Carl? Well, I'm going to keep them, and I'm going to ask God the questions. Hopefully I can get some answers. I bet you will. Maybe to even some of those silly ones. Well, there you go again. There's nothing silly about this question. What cheese is the moon made out of? Oh, I thought you already knew. The moon is made out of mozzarella. Wait, what? Bye, everyone. Can we can eat the moon. <laughs> Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Pro TV. Boys and girls, I was up in my kitchen and I found this item, but I'm not really sure what it's used for. I don't know. It was white, had some ridges in it. A little bit heavy. I don't know. It could be a hat maybe. Madeline. Oh, hey, Kelly. Hey, what are you doing with that bowl? Well, I just, I found it in the kitchen. I thought it was cool. It kind of almost looked like a hat, I was thinking. You know, boys and girls, it's important that we ask God our questions because sometimes we need to ask God to show us a new perspective new when perspective. we don't understand what we're seeing or experiencing. Oh. Wait, do you know what this is used for? <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Madeline, that's a ball. Oh, I see now. Have you ever heard something you didn't quite believe? Something that you questioned? We're gonna read you a list of different questions and we want you to tell us if you think they're true or false. True or false. Let's true. start. All right, penguins can smell toothpaste from miles away. True or false. True or false. In Tokyo, Japan, a bicycle is faster than a car for trips less than 50 minutes. True or false. True or false. 50 years ago, M&Ms were candy-coated peas during a chocolate shortage. True or false? True or false? When glass breaks, the cracks move faster than 3,000 miles per hour. True or false? True or false? A violin contains about 70 pieces of wood. True or false? True. Or false. <laughs> All right, last question. In Japan, they have square watermelons because they stack better. True or false? Maybe true? That's interesting. Anyways, boys and girls, thanks for playing. True or false? True or false? True <laughs> or false? True or false? <laughs> Fun facts are always great to learn, and we have a few different facts we found interesting, so hopefully you will enjoy them as well. Let's start off with, did you know shrimp's hearts are in their heads? Hmm. <laughs> okay, did you know not only does everyone have unique fingerprints, but we also have unique tongue prints as well. Did you know the world's largest french fry is 34 inches long? <laughs> Lots of ketchup. <laughs> okay, did you know your nose and your ears continue growing throughout your entire life? Mm -hmm. Did you know horses and cows sleep while standing up? Okay. <laughs> Did you know the sun is over 300,000 times larger than Earth? Okay, last one. Okay. Did you know Pluto was the smallest and farthest planet from the sun in our solar system? Now it's not even officially recognized as a planet. Wow. Those were some fun facts. I hope you enjoyed them. All right, Impact Kids. We have been going through James chapter one verse five this whole month for our memory verse let's see if you've got the hang of it after two weeks here we go james 1 verse 5 if any of you lacks wisdom you should ask god and it will be given to you all right boys and girls we're gonna pray Dear God, thank you so much for never making us feel silly when we ask you questions. We know you love listening to us and answering our questions. Help us to be wise by asking questions just like Nehemiah. Amen. Amen. This is all from our Y series of Hot Kids. We hope you learned and enjoyed lots. And remember that you can ask God your questions. And make sure to like and subscribe and check out those links below for more fun activities you can do. See you next month for our new series, boys and girls. Bye. See you.